Yeah, if there's a warp shrine there, I mean, it doesn't even take that long to get back to. Oh, oh welcome back, dude. Did you find out how to power the Dia Tree, did you? Hang on. Are they flower seeds you got there? What did you say? <clears throat> dude, did you bring back some flower seeds from the Chromatic K? What did you find there? The Elder of the Fat Rats was watching over them. And the flowers really must be the secret to filling the Dia Tree with power. All this talk of a covenant has come as a bit of a shock, though. I never imagined the humans and fat rats and the bodkin archers would have all joined forces together like that. It's a good thing they did, but now we can rebuild the Dia Tree as big and strong as ever before. As soon as this built, blueprint's built, you should plant those milk blossom seeds and give our new Dia Tree a bit of a boost. <clears throat> So we'd better get this thing finished, hadn't we? Don't worry, you can leave most of the building to us. When we're done, all you need to do is place that piece of heartwood in the right place and the blueprint will be complete. Is that it? Maybe? Oh, hard! Now that you've placed that blueprint, uh, placed that heartwood, dude, our first blueprint's good as good and finished. Yippee! Now we just have to plant some milk blossom seeds and give the Dia Tree some real flower power. Oh, now that'll be something to look forward to. We Wigglies live a heck of a long time, but even so, I ain't never seen flowers before. Huh, but where should we put them? I know, let's plant them around the hardwood that dude placed. Go on, dude, plant four milk blossom seeds in the heart earth around the heartwood. Bang. Oh, Ark! Thank you, million, me handsome! Ain't never seen pretty little flowers like them before. Oh my goodness, flowers, they're so small. It's so beautiful. Are you really crying over a couple of poxy flowers? There must be something seriously wrong with you. But but it's the first time we've ever seen anything like them. I, I'm just so happy. But, what, what, what was that light? It looks like it came from the flowers. There, I reckon they was charging the Dia Tree with all that power they're supposed to give it. I can hardly believe that this was... Uh, we believe that we built this ourselves. It wasn't so long ago that we were fervent followers of the children of Hargon. But now we are brilliant builders, and I shall be the much admired mayor of our community of construction. Aha! Uh, does everybody, does anyone feel that? There's a wave of energy rising up towards us. Hey, that gets rid of the smog, or part of the smog. That's good. It was looking kind of crummy around here. OMG, did you guys see that? That wave of light was like totally lit. Did you do that, Bonanzo? Well, I didn't do it deliberately, but perhaps I have powers beyond my own reckoning. <laughs> you lot really are a bunch of idiots. That was the flowers charging up the Dia Tree. Limonek, now it's got some kind of aura around it. Aha, uh -huh, that's wild. We should totally keep building this thing and see just how cray it can get. Uh, I, uh. All right, dude, that was the first stage finished, but we're not done yet. It's time for you to draw another blueprint. We're starting to get the hang of this blueprint bu building business now. So make it as big as you like. Level 2 blueprint. Okay, so it is tremendous. I am so glad I don't have to do a damn thing. Goodness gracious me, what a wonderful blueprint you've drawn for us, dude. Wolf, wolf, bark. Let's get building, everyone. 
This blueprint will be easy peasy for a wicked strong squad like us. There's still plenty of materials left in the chest, so we haven't anything to worry about on that front. We can get straight to work. You can leave the building work in our capable hands, dude. I'm sure there are a lot of other things that need doing that only you can do. If we give it our all, we should have dude's blueprint finished before we know it. Come on, everyone, let's get started. I guess I should probably... Alright, I never did finish this section. Well, I guess let's keep looking for the other flowers. This new bl blueprint of yours is a work of blooming art! I'd never been able to draw something like this! Not only because I ain't got no hands to hold a pencil in! <laughs> you needn't worry about the business of constructing it, my boy. We can handle that ourselves. Your skills are better utilized elsewhere. Speaking of which, dude, do you think you could try and track down another of the three types of flowers? Blooming good thinking, Rosie! If it's another chromatic K you're after, I can tell them where you find it. First, you want to warp to that old tomato farm, where that elf orc lives. Head east out the bog, you'll see the little spit of land in front of you. From there, you can fly over the island and hopefully find more seeds. If you need some extra directions, have a word with that orc. He's helpful so-and-so, and -so, so he is. Go on then, dude. Use your windbreaker to fly to that island and grab some more flower seeds. I kind of want to just watch them build for a little while. You know how I was talking about how simple that one village looked uh, in the loading screen? I'm really glad I made this like triple decker structure and this like kind of tremendous thing. Because it actually does like match the town really freaking well. It's a good thing we had enough room for it all, though. This could have been a problem if I had gotten a little bit more, like, clumped together. This is going to be a really tall tree, too, by the way. Because if we stand on it for a second, we can check the blueprint. <laughs> Holy crap. This is cool. I should probably go grab the flowers. We could keep watching them build this, but I think I kind of want to, like, leave and come back, uh... I want to leave, come back later and see how much it's changed. So we want to go over there this time. That's going to be a big ol' section. Uh, let's see. Then while they build, you want to give us a tour. How about after, uh, after this section, seeing as I've warped all the way out here. Come Mimix. Give me your seed, Mimic. I wish for more grass. Not that there's too much that I need to worry about there. We... I was going to try and fly that. Didn't work. So if level 10 is the max for every chapter, what do we think the max level for the game is? Probably 50? Okay, so this has got to be the Bodkin Island. Makes sense. The human one is an interesting question, though. I wonder if I had to read that seed, uh, sign. I hope I- I certainly hope I didn't. Some bodkin boyers appear. Oh!
too little too late. So the boyers turned on the, on the other bodkins. I guess we did we did get kind of get a uh, they did kind of imply this was going to happen. That's cool, actually. That I mean, honestly, there's not that much for stakes in this game, but it's still kind of neat that it's just like, oh yeah, the bodkins did turn evil. At least half of them did. Well, no. It's significantly large, larger portion, all things con considered, but still. Huh, a human approaches, does he? No time for talking. Is this save me and speak later, we will. Bodkin Boyers you must defeat. Is there, oh, there's one left. Where, oh, all the way up there. I didn't see him because verticality is hard. Oh, you can do a drop attack from that. That's cool. All right, looks like that's the last of them. I don't know why they were attacking one of their own though. Thank you humans, my life I owe you. Rewarded your bravery, bravery will be. Come here, yes, yes, come quickly. Oi. <clears throat> Slam attack. That is really satisfying. Thank you, humans. Defeat the Bodkin Boyers you did. Save me you did. Their pallid purple faces did you see. Sick the Bodkin Boyers are. Completely enraptured by the children of Hargon. Tried to steal the seeds of the covenant they did. Luckily, you arrived in time it was. Speaking of which, what brings you to this island, humans? A builder, you say. Building a new deity, you say. Then take the daffod daisy seeds in this chest, you must. Seeds of the covenant, that, covenant they are. Complete your deity, you must. Do so and rejoice, our ancestors will. Please, the seeds take them. <laughs> hey look, we found some more flower seeds, just like Rosie asked us to. Let's thank this little g green guy and then get back to the farm. Ah, terrible the children of Hargon are. Saw the island was teeming with the power of creation they did, destroy the deity they did. And not only that, turn the blessed deity into a spoil spore spreading source of death and disease they did. And to add insult to injury, blame it all on the builder they did. Mm -mm. Be so easily tricked, I did not think the humans would. Ah, uh, that we entered into an alliance with such a with such credulous creatures to think. What a terrible, terrible tragedy. And now to go back. And my Yoda impression isn't great. Shell's Yoda impression is pretty damn good. Are they still going? Or do they finish it? They almost finished it. Let's take a look at how gigantic this thing is. Wow, look at that. I love the, the windy sound effect while you're up here, too. Or maybe just on the tree. I'm not entirely sure. It's one or the other. It's just delightful. Next village I make, though, I'm making it way larger than this one. Oh, Ar! You've gone and found some yellow flower seeds for us, haven't you? You look so lovely. I can't wait to see them in full bloom. If only old Pastor Al could have been here to see them. But that's all the more reason to finish the deity. That's what he would have wanted. Speaking of Pastor Al, I've been thinking more and more about what he said, about how we could give more power to the deity. I get the feeling that planting these flowers won't quite bring enough to get it back to full strength. 
We have to do something else, too. He said we need to imbue it with the purified power of everything that blooms and bears fruit. And I'm not exactly sure how we go about doing that. But I'll find out. And as soon as I do, he'll be the first to know. You might have to wait a while, but promise I, I promise it will be worth it. For now, dude, we need you to focus on finishing this here blueprint. And just like last time, it's up to you to place the final block of hardwood and slap bang in the middle. Oh! Uh, I did? Nope. Okay, he is... He is bailed. Where are you? Where did he... Okay, he has escaped. Oh, I placed the block of hardwood and finished the blueprint, Avi. That's blim and brilliant. Now all we need to do is plant those daffodaisy seeds and charge the deity up with power. And then we can move on to the next stage. Doesn't it bother anyone else that the children of Hargon haven't tried to stop us? They must have worked out what we're doing by now. It's what they always do. I've heard stories the time uh, I've heard stories about the time long long ago before everyone began believing their lies. After they destroyed everything, the children of Hargon would always give people hope. Let us think things were all going to turn out alright again. And just when victory was so close we could taste it, they destroy everything all over again and throw us into more despair than ever before. Haha! <laughs> That's actually pretty clever. I like it. But obviously they're an awful bunch. And they have to be stopped. Dude, Melroth, I'm just as worried as you are about the children of Hargon. We can't let that that stop us. We have to focus on finishing the deity. So let me see. What do we have to do next? Oh, yes. We have to find a place to plant the daffodaisy seeds. I've already done it. I think it would be nice to plant them around the block of the heartwood, just like you did with the milk blossoms. Go and dude, plant your daffodaisy seeds in the grass around the heartwood. Oh, our blimmin' fine work there! Them daffodaisies look almost as handsome as me! I'm not a huge fan of flowers, to be honest. They seem kind of weak. They smell okay, though. Apparently, Furrowfield used to be carpeted with meadows that were completely full of flowers. Imagine how lovely it must have smelled then. Once the tea tree is back in action, and light and life return to the island, we can plant our own fields of flowers. Then we won't have to imagine. Did you hear that? A flash of light just came out of the daffodaisies. Huh? Where'd this breeze come from? It feels kind of nice. Whee. Oh, it's converting the land around the uh, the town as well into grass. Well, that's nice. Once again, the flowers you've planted have imbued the deity with power, and it seems it developed the strength to drive away the ill wind somewhat. Whoa! The breeze coming off this tree is totally like firm but gentle. I feel so blessed right now. I can hardly believe it. We're fu really building a whole new deity from scratch. This is blim and brilliant. Aru. Yippee! Now all we have to do is build the very top of the tree and the deity will be complete. If we're going to finish the deity, you'll need to draw the next blueprint, dude. This will be the third and final section. So go all out and draw the biggest and best blueprint you can. Okay, this part is not quite as large as the other one. Still pretty large, though. I wish it came to a point instead of kind of like two separate brand, uh, separate somethings. I don't know. Anyway, more earth, grassy bits, other stuff, whatever. Goodness gracious me, the third time really is the charm, and what a terrific design. Looks fantastic, and what's more, once we finish this, the deity will be finished too. We should still have plenty of materials in the chest, so all we have to do now is jolly well build the thing. And I've worked out what we need to do to fill the deity with as much power as possible. 
Do you remember what I said about needing to imbue it the purified power of everything that blooms and bears fruit? Well, that must be, mean our five crops. If we can find a way to extract the vital essence of everything we've grown so far, we can charge the deity with more power than ever before. I'll tell you all the ingredients that need to go into it. You just need to figure out a way to make it. Aha! Best of luck, my boy. For the rest of us, our mission is clear. We must finish building the deity. tree. <laughs> We're almost there, everyone. We just need to pull together and finish this final leg. For Furrowfield, I say. For Furrowfield! <laughs> I guess it is a double helix. You are correct about that. I was just thinking, uh, what's a good example? Well, I mean, honestly, I was thinking of the marker from, um... I was thinking of the marker from Dead Space. Which I like the design of. Anyway. Water of life. Dewy drop derived from the leaf of life and a variety of vegetables. The end is finally in sight, dude. And what's more, everyone here has the will and the energy to see our mission through. But there's one thing that we won't be able to handle on our own. Our new deity needs a moat of crystal clear water. After all, it's a plant like any other, is it not? But the muddy water that has served us so uh, us well so far isn't nearly good enough for something so holy. Wrigley tells me there's an underground spring beneath Furrowfield Bog where pure clean water wells from the ground. But there you have it, my boy. While we continue the construction of the blueprint, we must seek out this spring. So mark the location on your map so you can head straight there, gather up the water in that bottomless spot of yours, and bring it right back. If you have trouble, you might ask the tomato farming orc I've heard so much about. From what I've heard, it seems you would be lost without him. I haven't spoken to him since tomatoes. Nice one, you filled the pot with pure water, right? That stuff should be clean enough to satisfy- Oh, that should be clean enough to satisfy old Beer Beardy. Sorry, he's talking to Mal Malra's talking to me. I sequence broke some things hard. <laughs> Come on then, let's get back to the farm. I'm not sure what we need to do once we get it back though. We should talk to Bonanzo about it. <laughs> Trembling Trevils, dude, you found some pure water. I'm taking the liberty of marking out four spots in the deity tree for you to pour the water onto. The rest is up to you, my boy. Okay, so the spots are actually up high. Okay. Might have to let them build first. Yeah, looks like I should let them build before I do anything else. Anyway, let's talk to him. So, me handsome. Seems you figured out how to make the water of life so you have. Whatever it is, sounds good impressive. I'm sure it'll cha charge up the deity with no end of power. But one of the ingredients you'll need is a complete mystery to me. What in the world is a leaf of life? Hmm. Whatever it is, I'm sure we'll find it soon enough. In the meantime, we should focus on finishing this blueprint. Well then, while we're doing that, how about Eve, Ian Malroth go and find the last of the flower seeds we need? Head west from the bog and keep heading west. See a pillar of rock just jutting out of the sea. You can fly over the last of the chromatic haze from there. I'd start by warping to the banks of the bog if I were Ian. Have a chat with the fat rat that lives there as well. He might some ha have some hint helpful hints for you. We're all counting on you, dude. Please find the final set of flower seeds we need. I'm on the wrong section of Helix here. Oh, is this gonna have water pouring down from it? Oh, that's really cool. So once the whole tree is done, it'll actually have... Oh, that's... Okay, that's a nice thing. Also, thank you, Be Wild, for the sub, and welcome. I think it's Be Wild. For whatever reason, my sub notifications are absolutely tiny for no freaking reason. I will pour this water all the way up here at some point. Well, what do you guys think? Oh, right. Uh, you guys wanted a tour. So this is my pumpkin farm, all the way up on top of the 
open air restaurant that really isn't done yet. I mean, there's there will be more more in there, but still, this is the bathhouse. It's a little small. I'd like to make a bigger one at some point. Added the windows; they weren't there before. Uh, let's see what else do we have. We have the sleeping shack with random blocks in it. I'm pretty sure. Oh, there is stuff in here. Uh, let's see. I'm not. I guess they just put a bunch of wheat seeds in for whatever reason. I guess it works. I think they just put whatever they want in the those chests. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna put these away. Uh, we could probably also put away the seeds and the rest of that. Anything else? Definitely don't need bark. Or probably a whole lot of building materials. This, this is horrifying. So this is the bathroom. I had to gather some poop. For whatever reason, I put uh, a dining table in here. I've yet to see anybody eat inside it, which is probably for the best. But yes, this is the double-decker diarrhea dollhouse. Because right above the previous toilet is another toilet. Now, I believe... I think I can still do this. I, don't, I can't imagine they've fixed it. But if I sit here and then hold up, I can warp up to the other toilet very temporarily. Quantum pooping, if you will. Uh, let's see. This is Harry Potter's... Uh, living situation. Somebody has slept down there before, but it's not often. They usually try to sleep in other bedrooms. <laughs> God wonder why. Because. <laughs> because I can. This is the cooking pit, which apparently needs more fire. Have I used up all the fire in here? No, I haven't. Admittedly, they're pretty busy right now, but that's okay. But yeah, they will just cook all of the food on these things. It's actually really convenient. Uh, let's see. Wheat farm. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, speaking of uh, things that I can gather resources out of. I guess they haven't been gathering that much since I did that. A lot of wheat. Uh, but these are the... These are both farmhouses. They're supposed to just gather random materials for me. They did gather a lot of wood, actually, which is really nice. Uh, let's see. I was supposed to put a farm on top of that thing, but I never got around to it. This is another tiny little farmhouse. Or farmhouse, uh, living situation for people. Uh, let's see what else. Another sleeping situation. I'm not actually sure if I have enough beds for everybody, but eh. It hasn't become an issue yet, so I don't need to worry about it. This will be somebody's private quarters eventually, if I get around to it. I might... This might be one of those islands that I leave and then come back from. Uh, at a later date. Uh, let's see, what else did I have? Double-decker dollhouse. I didn't really touch this. I was really hoping I could actually purify the water in this, but no dice. It sucks a bit. This is my, like, sort of Tori gate that I'm really proud of. Oh, did... Oh. In purifying the lands, I guess it kind of broke a lot of this. Huh. At least I think that's the case. Anyway, this is the uh, this is the fissure of safety. So if anybody ever attacks my uh, my town, uh, if anybody ever attacks my town, that that it just gets. Uh, let's see. It just gets stuck. It's pretty cool. Do I put, do I put this here? Let's put this right here. Let's see what happens when I put a forest out in this section. He will do it. You can purify the water by pouring clean water over the muddy water. Okay, so this should be a forest instead. Figured I'd do that there. We might make some, some more on the outside at some point. Yeah, it says I'm repelled by some strange force.
so doesn't look like it. It also pours stupid now. But that's okay. Oh, we should actually purify this area up here. I mean, I guess what I could maybe try and do is purify from here. Ah. Oh. That didn't really work. Well, you know what? It looks at least marginally better. So... Honestly, I guess what I could do... Uh, we've got a couple of flagstones. Would have liked to get some more flagstones than this. Do I not have anything more stone-ish? We have arid earth. It matches. I didn't match that well. And I'm 99% certain. Oh no, I can't break these. Huh. If I had known that, probably would have uh, replaced it. Maybe, I don't know. Okay. Switch back to this. I think I made an oopsie. I did. On one hand, it's a lot of nice water. On the other hand, probably shouldn't do that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't really have a good solution to this whole water problem. So I'm just gonna kind of... I'm just gonna kind of leave it as is. It looks marginally better than what I had. So I'll go with that. I guess while I'm pouring water here, we might as well pop up to the top of the tree, uh, the Dia tree. They're pretty much done. That should be good. And I guess I can place the rest of these. We don't have the flowers yet. But that's okay. We can finish the Tia Tree blueprint all the same. Oh, is the kitchen being flooded again? If so, that's hilarious. Fantastic work, dude. The Tia Tree is now literally overflowing with pure clean water. Ah, it's truly a beautiful sight to behold. It lifts the spirits and calms the soul. Oh, dude, as your father figured, nay, your brother figured, nay, your mother figure. Uh, I'm very so, so very proud of you. By the way, dude, there's something I want to ask you, just between you and me. Once our work here is done, may I accompany you to your island? I'd be more than happy to help you grow your gardens and greenery back home. Do not hesitate to say yes, my boy. And don't leave Furrowfield without speaking to me first, all right? Returning to the matter at hand, hurry and do what must you must co to complete the Dia Tree. Do not keep us waiting. Thank you, Kix, for the hundred bits. Now we, I must go rescue my kitchen because my kitchen is got is getting flooded again. I mean, it's not as bad as it used to be, but yeah, this is this is a whoops. Okay, uh, whoops.
Okay, there we go. Eh, all things considered, this is fine. Can I destroy... I was really hoping I could... Fix that. Oh, is that people watering crops up here? Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, next next town I make, I'm definitely going to have to make a lot larger, though. Because this is... uh, This is actually getting a little cramped. But then again, we're probably not going to be making mega structures directly in the center of all of these chapters. Okay, let's view map. So we're going... Oh, so we are going back here. So wait, so I, I could preempt, preemptively go get all of the seeds. That's kind of dumb that uh, it wouldn't let me like get the seeds out of order for the... Uh... Like, it would have been really nice if you could preemptively get all the flower seeds and just turn them all in. Not the end of the world, but like, would have saved me a little bit of time. We I wonder if we get any other like interesting tools over the course of the uh the next couple couple chapters. We've gotta Hopefully I get to keep the uh the flight flight cape and so on and so forth. I'm so used to the small town boundaries from the previous game. Yep! And also uh and also, it's just kind of one of those where it's like it's a lot easier to manage a small town. Um, but yeah, next next one I'm going to try and go a little bit more overboard and uh, make a bigger town. I also want to make a town that looks extremely culty. Uh, with like a weird shrine to the builder or something. I, I'm not really sure. But just like out Hargon Hargon. Oh, these weren't here before. Oh, I'm starving. I guess I can put these away. I pretty much don't need them. But I get for not eating all of the food. Die. Thank you. Thank you for all the wheat seeds. Holy crap, if I wanted to make like a mega wheat farm, I totally could. We. Could also ignore all these ants. But I'm like, eh. I guess I probably should have to some degree. Because I'm not gaining anything from this. Like, I got more wheat seeds than a than a reasonable per reasonable person knows what to do with. At least as far as this game goes. Especially because I I'm pretty sure townsfolk won't farm outside of uh, town limits. Oh, there's a chest over here. That's sneaky. It's poop. Hold on! You're Goobins, aren't you? What are you doing here? You're a builder? You're going around Furrowfield looking for flower seeds to rebuild the Dia Tree. Gooey! Goobin used to live on this island, you know? She came here to protect some flower seeds from the old wind. But she died a long, long slime ago. You poor Goobins don't last very long compared to us monsters. Before she died, she asked me to wait here until the day another Goobin came to collect the seeds. A builder like you! Apparently, the people in the mainland think builders bring desolation to despair, but I don't think that's true. I think they're goo. The flower seeds you're looking for are hidden behind this waterfall. Go ahead and take them. Maybe I could have actually, uh, sequence broke it. Wait, they're, they're just in here? I, gu I guess so.
Corollary seed. <laughs> all right, that's another set of seeds in the bag. Now we found all three. Let's say thanks to the slime and get the these bad boys back to the deity tree. Good work, Builder! Those are the last flower seeds. You've completed all the seeds from the Covenant. And now we've delivered the three sets of seeds to a new Builder. The Alliance's mission is finally complete. Time for total war. <laughs> I'm not a bodkin or a fat rat or a goobin, but I'm still really happy that this day has come. There was a slime when Furrowfield didn't have a deity. But then the legendary Builder came and made one for us. Ever since then, this island's been blessed with nature's bouncy. He turned it from a gooey, barren rock into a nature lover's paradise. But over slime, everyone started to think that the deity that brought all those blessings to the island and the builder who built it were bad goos. Ironic, isn't it? If it isn't ironic, it certainly isn't goo. Apparently, the builder went to another island after he finished building the deity. Wonder what kind of person he was. Was he even gooman? Huh. Oh, there is something there. That looks like a puzzle, though. That's a secret, secret as heck puzzle, though. Experimenting to see if there's a faster way to do this. Not really. There's more wasteful ways to do this, but that's... That's whatever. And you leave a massive pillar of mud in the middle of his slot. His shrine. Excuse me, it's goo. Okay. Look like this one's particularly fancy. Just break it. Oh, that was fast. Dude acquires a mini metal. Okay, so that's it. I don't remember there being any other bonus island. Or wasn't there an island with lava? For whatever reason, I'm reminded that there was an island that looked like it might have had lava or something. Also, apparently there's actually a, a puzzle there that I missed. I should probably go back for that, because it'd be bad to leave those. I don't know when we're going to need the mini medals and for what. Oh, wow. That's sneaky as hell. Well, that was easy. Yeah, it might be off the church. Maybe off that guy's body? Uh, we'll, uh, we'll check it later. I mean, chances are it's going to be... That's going to be where, uh, the brainy bad, bad boon is. And if not, we can get it at the very end. Uh, anything else? Maybe, probably. Nothing... Nothing that I see yet. You give... Mini medals to the hermit. I haven't found a hermit yet. I guess we might as well get up to the top of this first. Uh, 
Okay. Three. Die, weird monster! What's up? Welcome back, me handsome! And I see you've got some core lily seeds there. Now we found all three types of flowers. Always knew builders brought open happiness wherever they go. It was like that with the original builder, and the same with ye. Builders don't bring desolation and despair. That was just a lie cooked up by the Church of Hargon. Anyone spreads despair around here, it's them. Still, something about that whole situation doesn't make any sense. Why was everyone around here so eager to believe a lie like that? Till the builder came around here and built the original deity, there weren't nothing on this island at all. The people didn't have no luxuries, that's for sure. They lived in hu lived humble, peaceful lives. But after the deity was built, the humans changed. Oh, I think I've heard this story. Everyone started fighting about who got to use the best farmland. And what they should grow where. The old peace and quiet was replaced by fear and loathing. And that's why the children of Hargon destroyed the deity and issued their proclamation. That the builder who made the deity was a being of evil who brought desolation and despair to the island. Well, that's a pretty stupid way of looking at it. When the deity died, nobody forced them to lose hope. It was their choice to give up. Rose, Rosie, Perry, even the bearded wonder here. You all picked yourselves up. You even learned to love building. Bad things are just going to happen in life. That's just the way it is. But it's how you react to them that matters, right? Alroth, I... I think so, too. Come on, dude. The Deatry's almost finished. Let's finish this blueprint and plant the flowers you found. Get on, dude! Now that them blocks of heartwood are in place, the blueprint's good and finished. I can hardly believe it. it. Wasn't long ago I was fixated on destroying everything I could. Now I've helped create something so wondrous. It's been a long journey for all of us, but the end is within sight. The deity is oh so nearly complete. Woof, woof, rough. It just needs one last finishing touch, dude. Would you do the honors and plant four coral lily seeds between the blocks of hardwood? Thank you, dude. Thank you so much. The core lilies bloomed, and they smell girtlish. What's the third and final type of flower planted? Oh, that's the third and final type of flower planted. Does that mean that our new deity is finished? Yes, we've finally done it. I can't tell you how long I've dreamed about this day. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy for you, Rosie. I thought you'd have thrown in the towel ages ago. I'd never give up on this, Maloroth. After all, I've always dreamt of returning to life on the island. Or returning life to the island, sorry. And besides, didn't Pastor Al tell us not to give up on our dreams? You certainly like that word, don't you? It's always dreams this, dreams that with you. Whatever the case, we got there in the end, didn't we? We started with nothing, and now we got a whole new deity. Look, everyone, the flowers have given the Dietri even more power. Does anyone else feel that? The breeze is getting stronger. I almost kind of wish the previous Dietri had had that effect, too. Beautifying it. Because it's a bit of a shame that we're going to spend most of this chapter in this, like, kind of desolate, gross wasteland. And then, at the very end, we're going to make it look nicer, maybe. I don't know. Oh, well. It actually doesn't matter that much. Yippee, we did it. The Dietri is complete. Yes, and it's blowing away the ill wind. Life is springing up all around us. <laughs> it's amazing to think we built something so huge out of nothing. You really are something, dude. We ain't done yet, though. Someone tells me the old girl's got even more power hidden away in there. Then, it's, then is it not time to use the water of life and make the deity stronger still? Yes, if we could sprinkle the water of life on it, the deity's true power would be unleashed. Right, but where are we going to get the tree of life? Dude needs to make it. We can't do anything without that. 
Here's a thought. If the old builder used use that leaf to power up the old deer tree, maybe the Brady baboon bad boon took it when he turned the tree into that spoil spore soon spa stop. Sorry. We owe that beast a beating for what he did to Pastor Al. It seems we will have no choice but to fight him and win. Huh? Ah! What? What's that? And it's a battle. Now here's the question. Do we go overboard or do we not? Nah, let's not go overboard. This is probably good enough. I was tempted to just like uber dig the pit, but I don't think we need it. 